guys coming at you with another video today on this Monday. Happy Monday. I am have officially driven for nine hours today. I took a pretty big exam, got it done uh, for my job. But there's no testing center in my area, which is stupid. But anyways, I wanted to talk about uh, anxiety, head pressure, or anxiety, depression. We have it. We got it. You know, we've been diagnosed with it, whatever. You experience symptoms of it. What now? And this kind of was sparked from a person who reached out to me, and I really appreciate them reaching out. I was, uh, I think it was Brienne is the person. And... Um, you know, asked me about all the symptoms that I had, but just kept going with symptoms and symptoms like departmentalization and muscle spasms and uh, brain spasms, all these kind of things. And then P PTSD or PSSD, uh, some of the things I've never even heard of before, or uh, sexual um, dysfunction. And you know, asked if I had recovered from it pre, post uh, Prozac and post, it had to do with withdrawal, but also kind of has to do with anxiety symptoms in general. Um, and I just wanted to point out, it's like, damn, it's like, we think about all these symptoms and, and what we have, but there's no, like, like, I get it. you got to figure out what's going on. If you have symptoms and stuff, you try to, and you take the test, you, you figure it out. But after that, and I've talked about this, it's like, what's the point of thinking about the symptoms? It's almost like we're trying to stack on how many symptoms that we have. I mean, all those symptoms suck, and we're not trying to accumulate more. It's, it's like people are trying to validate that they had all these symptoms and stuff. And it's like, I get it, but it, who cares? Like... To a certain extent, once you figured once you figured out that it is anxiety and that's what we're dealing with, it's like, all right, now let's 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 beat it, let's let's do it. Because I I, I feel like the focus and this is the whole victim mentality to a certain extent, and I had this too of like, woe is me, like I have anxiety. It's just like, yeah, so does a ton of other people, and we're all in this boat, but we need to get better, like. Life is miserable when you're anxious. I mean, it is absolutely miserable. It's miserable having, you know, depressive thoughts. It's miserable uh, having those debilitating symptoms. So it's like, what now? And it's like, you got to take action. You are, in most cases, very sedentary. So we need to change that. We need to be more active. We need to start lifting weights. We need to start stretching. We need to start uh, developing hobbies that get us up our off our ass, like... We need to take action. We need to do things. We need to become unsedentary. We need to become just active human beings. The other thing we have to focus on is, okay, we're probably not eating that well. And, and in 2023, it's tough to eat well because there's so much crap in our food. It is so difficult to eat properly clean. But what I would say is the first stretch, we crash throughout the day. We have no energy, but, you know, are we drinking energy drinks? Are we having 10 cups of coffee per day? Are we eating a ton of sugar? Are we eating a ton of carbohydrates? Are we doing all these things that really are debilitating to the body? Like these are not good things to the body and they harm the body over time. They hurt the body over time and they make us sluggish. They make us very, um, very lackluster. And so, we need to progress on that. We also need to progress if we are socially anxious as well, as far as kind of facing our fears and getting out there, experiencing our community. And that's hobbies and stuff. I haven't talked much about this subject, but it, I think it's very, very important. A lot of you have not gone to college. Less and less people are going to college. I attribute high school and college, especially public or private, doesn't matter, is the the stepping stones to build social skills. And I think they are fantastic for this school in general, is develop social skills, develop friends and stuff. And that's how you 
exceed in the real world. You will not exceed if you are socially inept. We all know the person that socially is just different. And whether that's parenting, maybe it's just a personality thing. But you can acquire social skills by putting yourself out there. You are not going to acquire social skills if you don't put yourself out there. And I get it, socially anxious, in groups, presentations suck. But how have I gotten better throughout the past couple of years um, with my anxiety? Well, I put myself out there. I joined a gym. I joined a club membership. I have reached out to friends that I never thought that I'd be friends with because in high school they treated me poorly, but turns out we all grew up. I have expanded my friend groups and kept in touch with high school and college friends that I, I, I put more effort into it. Um, I have put myself out there at my job and interacted with more people. I put myself in a position with a job where I interact with more people on a daily basis and a customer specific basis. All these things have helped me develop social skills. They've helped me uh, develop social cues, which are huge. Social cues are massive in this day and age. Um, and I'm still working on them. I think there are, I, I need to excel in them a little more, but you know, that, that's a huge component as well. So we got non-sedentary, got diet, and we got increasing social skills or decreasing social anxiety. I think the last component would be just becoming overly, it, it, I would say educating yourself. And not in the sense of, oh, you need to educate. I'm saying educate yourself on how the body works. I think it is absolutely fascinating to know the cause and effect behind things. Because once you know the cause and effect, then, then you understand that it's just anxiety. You understand that, okay, this is going to make sense if I react this way, if I do these certain things, if I eat these certain foods, or if I exercise, or if I lift these certain weights, or take these certain supplements. Once you understand how the body works, and this is free knowledge, like YouTube, uh, Rumble, Instagram, you could find a lot of these places on social media on how, uh, how your body works. And you could take courses too if you wanted to, but why pay for it when it's mostly all free? Once you understand how the body works, then you could take even more appropriate steps because I'm constantly learning on how my body can be optimized. I didn't know how the body worked at all when I started my journey. When I first took Prozac, I had no idea the reactions that I was gonna have. Now I understand. It's like, now I understand what the body does when it fasts. Now I understand what happens when I have excess sugars or carbohydrates. Now I understand what happens when I get proper sleep. Now I understand all these things have made me better and stronger as a person, but it's also enhanced my knowledge of, okay, this is why I'm feeling this way. I don't need to be anxious about it because it's simply just anxiety. So I hope those key things really help because I, I, I see a lot of people just fixating on symptoms and woe is me and stuff. It's like, you got to do something about it. Like, you got to start doing it. I don't care if if you you have, you know, if you found out you definitely have anxiety. That fine. Perfect. Like, you can fix that. Like, it's not like something that you could just, you know, uh, that it's like, oh, it's unfixable and the bodies are different. Yeah, of course bodies are different, but life's not fair. Like, we want to excel. We want to, my goal, overall goal is to optimize my body to its fullest limit while I can, because I'm not going to be 28 much longer, let alone 30, 40. Once I get into 50, it's like, damn, I'm going to be really going downhill as far as what I can and can't do. So you got to take advantage of those use. And a lot of people watching my channel are in that age bracket, 18 to 34. So take advantage of that stuff. Once we got anxiety, once we know I got anxiety, now we know what to do. Take action. Please like, comment, subscribe, uh, donate if you'd like. Uh, I'll link my Instagram and email down below. Peace.